Welcome to my pantry. In today's video, I am going to be reorganizing my pantry. I'm going to be showing you all the ingredients that you need to either start cooking from scratch or continue to cook from scratch. All of the ingredients I have in my pantry, my fridge, my freezer that are go-tos and that I believe are staples in making from scratch meals. I placed my first Azure Standard order and I've really been loving getting bulk items for cheap, especially because my family is eating more and we make a lot of things from scratch. I make almost all my meals from scratch, so it's really important for me to have ingredients that I can just grab, whether they're in my freezer or the fridge or the pantry and just whip some things together. So I am just showing you some things from my order from Walmart. I also order from Festival. So I order from Walmart and Festival weekly every Monday. My husband works near Festival, so he picks up that order. I go and get the Walmart order, and then we will probably do an Azure Standard every other month to every third month. We enjoy that we can get organic bulk items for a cheaper price. Definitely check on your local grocery store or on Walmart's pricing per ounce or per pound compared to Azure Standard. That is what we did. And we found that some things were way cheaper, some things were a little bit cheaper, and then some things were very comparable. Before we get into the nitty gritty of the ingredients, I wanted to share with you that I put together a fridge and pantry checklist as well as a blank fridge and pantry inventory sheet where you can write down all of the ingredients that you already have. You can mark them off once you use them and also mark how many you have available. So if you haven't downloaded those, I will have the link to my Homemakers Helping Hand Planner down below. If you have already downloaded that planner previously, then I sent you these downloadables, the both inventory sheets and the checklist in your email. So make sure you double check see that it's there. If not, go ahead and reach out to me. Before I went to get my Walmart pickup order, I measured underneath the shelves as well as a few shelves. I wanted to get some more glass canisters or containers to put flour in as well as a few storage totes. We bought from Azure Standard a 55 pound bag of sugar and a 25 pound bag of flour. And I want to keep those safe and stored that way, you know, if anything ever spills or we end up getting mice when it gets cold outside, that those are protected because I will reach in and grab those once I need to break into them. I do have a little bit of back stock in the flour and sugar area before I need to get into those, but I wanted to make sure that those were safely stored and just in a nice convenient place at the bottom of the pantry. A random side note I wanted to share is throughout this whole organization process, whether that was me cleaning, pouring flowers, deciding where to put things, I had kids surrounding me. I had kids in and out, kids on my lap. I had Judah trying to get into all of the things that I put on the floor, as well as trying to pull things off the shelves. This is partially the reason that I am rearranging the bottom and on the side, you will see it in a little bit, there is a whole shelf full of cans and he would just pull those off. It wasn't safe. And so just know if you are trying to get a project like this done, not even your pantry, just organizing anything and you have kids and you feel like it is a struggle, know that you are not alone. I am also dealing with this. I stopped did stuff with my kids, continued, stopped, did homeschool, continued. So it was a throughout the day process. It doesn't have to be immediate. It doesn't have to be finished in one setting. Just know that if you have kids, take a deep breath. It's okay. Things will get done. It doesn't have to be done immediately. The biggest find we found from Azure Standard was the price difference in the seasoning. So parsley, oregano, garlic powder, I believe garlic salt was the same, which is kind of weird, but um, onion powder, those type of herbs and spices and seasonings, they were so much cheaper. I believe for parsley, as an example, I could buy the organic from Walmart and get one ounce for $15 or 16 ounces from Azure Standard for $22. So the price amount is really a few dollars more for 15 ounces more. It's insane. It's a really good deal. So definitely look into it. I will have a link to Azure Standard below. I do have a referral link. Everyone does. <laughs> Everyone can have this if you just shop at Azure Standard. So that is the only way that I somewhat get money, I suppose, but I am not sponsored or 
have a business or partnership affiliation with them, I just think is a really good deal. And so I'm super excited about it. Now I am just placing some items in a box that I don't use. Things like cream of chicken, cream of mushroom, I don't use them. I make everything from scratch. So I decided I would put those along with some noodles that we don't use in a box to be donated because someone should definitely benefit from them rather than them just sit in my pantry. Those jars that you see are filled with things that we canned earlier in the summer. So we have some apple filling, some raspberry syrup, raspberry jam, mulberry syrup, and grape jam. So those are just the canned goods that we have. I keep them there just because it's very convenient anytime we make a peanut butter jelly or need some syrup for pancakes, waffles, that sort of thing. I can easily just grab them. Whenever I make someone a meal from scratch or, you know, I say, oh, I, I don't use a can. I cook something from scratch. You know, people think that you're so special and people think, oh gosh, you're just, you must have so much more time and energy and motivation and all these sort of things in my experience or conversations with people when I talk about cooking from scratch, I usually get a response like, I don't have enough time or, you know, I'm not motivated enough. I don't have the love for cooking. But to be honest, I don't have all those things either. I don't have any more time than you. I don't have this longing desire to cook and bake. It is something that I just prioritize because I've looked into it and I really want to nourish my family. So if you are someone who is wanting to cook from scratch, you don't know where to start, maybe you're overwhelmed, maybe you started cooking from scratch and things didn't go well, this is my invitation to you to keep going. This is my invitation to you to be encouraged, get motivated, get researching, watch some videos, take some time to learn about the food that you are feeding your family or just even yourself, you and your husband, whoever it may be, because it is so important. Homemaking in general is such a lost art or a skill, if you will, that people are just not wanting to do anymore. And cooking from scratch is no different. People are wanting convenient foods. They are wanting things fast, quick, easy. Fast food has just, it has just skyrocketed. And honestly, it hasn't skyrocketed in quality, just price. If, if I'm honest, you can make food from scratch that is 100% organic and it still be cheaper than fast food that you bought for your whole family. And it's just a fact. Fast food nowadays is at least $10 a meal, $6-ish for kids, and that's on the cheaper side. So really think about the food that you are feeding your family or yourself, whoever it may be, and look into things like artificial flavoring, artificial colors, preservatives, processed foods, GMOs, all of the things. Because if you are part of this is a tiptoey subject, if you will. If you are just part of the society that's like, oh, yep, that's convenient. I'm going to grab that. Or like just trusting in, you know, everyone who makes food, then I just very much encourage you to look into it. And this is not saying anyone who cooks from scratch is better. This is not saying that it is the only way to feed your family or the only way to live. That's not what I'm saying. Please don't take it out of context, but look into it. Please be informed because there are a lot of things that you will find that might be disturbing to you and it might be affecting your children's growth, your children's behavior, their health, your family's health. So cooking, cooking from scratch is not only a skill, and I lost skill at that, but it's also very important. And it's important to know that, okay, if the store were to, you know, burst into flames tomorrow, if they were all to disappear, that you could still feed your family and know you might not have, you know, pigs and sheep and, you know, beef just sitting in your backyard or access to those, you know, but still having the ability to make something out of nothing, the ability to say, okay, well, we didn't have store-bought noodles, which I'm not saying are a bad thing, but knowing how to make those from scratch and still being able to feed your family even if you didn't have access to things. And that should really scare us if you can honestly say to yourself, okay, if the store were to go down, if no food was available, I would have no idea how to make things. And I'm not meaning grabbing the macaroni and cheese off the shelf. I'm meaning you have to take flour, you have to take sugar and baking powder maybe and make something of it. 
I also love the connection that we can feel to our ancestors, to our great, great grandparents who were cooking everything from scratch. We're taking the time to make nourishing meals, whether it's organic or not, whether it's 100% scra- scratch made or not. Feeling that connection to them that we are doing the skills for our family that our great, great grandmas did and our, the grandmas before them. I love being able to find recipes from the 1800s or the 1900s and really honing in on what kind of ingredients they were using and being able to change it or modify it to make it my own to make it delicious for my family. I just love being able to do that. So no, I don't always have this desire and drive to cook. Absolutely not. And before cooking from scratch, I actually really despised cooking. And I honestly feel like a lot of it comes from the fact that you can't really be creative when you make something from a box. When you have this gravy from a packet or mashed potatoes from a box or, you know, whatever it may be, hamburger helper, you can only do so much to it. And so there is this fun and this pride and enjoyment from cooking from scratch, making things your own and being able to change it up each time you make the recipe. The good news is I am done with my tangent, so don't worry. What I did was I wanted to have these beautiful containers. I don't love this pantry. I am very blessed to have it, but the shelves are tilting. Things are breaking. There's this you know, insulated piping for the heat and the air that's in there. So it's not like a Pinterest perfect pantry by any means, but I am very blessed that I have it. So what I did was I took some glass canisters to try to bring some beauty to it and I created a gluten-free shelf because my daughter has celiac disease. So I created a whole shelf dedicated to just everything gluten-free from her flowers to the baking mixes. I do use some box things that are gluten-free. I am trying to still figure out things with her flower, which is why I bought so many different flowers from Azure Standard. They were so affordable. So I want to get into doing things like cornbread and making bread from scratch for her. And then I just separated some of these sections like my baking things with my canning things, salts versus, you know, um, chocolate chips and baking powder and chia seeds and things. I do use the Jovial noodles. I absolutely love those. They are brown rice noodles. So whenever I don't make noodles from scratch or I need to make noodles for my daughter, I haven't yet mastered gluten-free noodles from scratch. I've made them before. They're all right, but the Jovial brown rice noodles are absolutely fantastic. I highly recommend stocking up on those. I know I just went on a big tangent about not buying things from a box, but I'm not saying you can't have any canned goods or any, you know, box foods or, you know, when you're in a pinch or you've had a stressful day or you're sick that you can't use things that are convenient. That's not what I'm saying. Please don't feel like I have attacked you and the way that you make food. I'm just trying to, you know, be encouraging that you can make food from scratch too, because there's nothing special about me. I don't feel like I'm better than anyone by making things from scratch, but I do feel like I have found a love for baking because of it. I have just placed her flowers in alphabetical order so that I can remember it from cassava, coconut, garbanzo to brown rice. But I went with rice, not B for brown. So as long as I remember, we're good. I also have other backstock items such as, you know, ketchup, mustard, ranch. I love keeping chicken stock on hand. I keep Campbell's chicken noodle soup for the time when you wake up and you're just sick. I also have a little bit of baby food. We don't really do snacks here, but I do have a few for when we are on the go. This is it. All of the ingredients that I have for cooking from scratch. Thank you guys so much for watching and please consider subscribing.